Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I've just received the DX24 Vespin Luke Skywalker. Uh, giving you my quick thoughts on this, like it's not really a review, it's just a quick show. Sorry about the, the orange lead, I'm just plugging in. I don't normally use stands, so I, but I just wanted to plug it in, see what the USB, sort of how good the USB would be. Um, on the phone it comes across quite orange, but actually the, the light is quite red, which looks wicked like the Bespin red. Um, so that's good, but this will go back in the box because I use like the sort of generic, sort of, um, you know, sort of old school stand. But going back to the figure, this is awesome. Um, uh, this is my favourite scene from Star Wars. In any Star Wars film, TV show, um, the duel with Vader at Bespin, um, I still love it. The music, everything about it is just perfect for me. This is like, you know, my ultimate Star Wars moment, you know, when he's fighting Vader in the carbon freeze chamber. Um, first thoughts, uh, like everyone says, it is clean, um, but not to the point where I'm getting annoyed with it and, you know, I'll, I'll immediately send it off to someone and get it weathered. I'm not going to get it battle damaged because a lot of the other figures, I think it look a bit weird next to all the other figures that I've got because I've got, you know, one character per figure and none of them are real battered and battle damaged. Um, so what I'll probably do is, if I do one day send it away, I'll get it done like just a bit dirtied and all that like he was when he just arrived at Bespin. But at the moment, I'm gonna, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, the, the tailoring on this is good. The body feels better than the DX07, which I had many moons ago. Um, the head sculpt is, yeah, really good. Um, you know, I mean, I I haven't had a Luke for a little while because I've been waiting for this, so I'm happy with this sculpt completely compared to the like the Snow Speeder and the Jedi Luke one that came out, not the Mandalorian, the other one, which are the same as the Snow Speeder. This looks great though. The hair one on this is good. I think I might use the sweaty one, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to put that on in a minute and show you. But this will be the sort of pose I'll go for. It's that classic, you know, corridor look, Luke strong pose lightsaber looks good the belt and everything look really good um i don't know if it's pleather or plastic but keep an eye on that obviously back in the old days the dx07 um magnet used to be crap and never worked um obviously the base i think you could probably plug stuff into that but i'm not going to do it um i've got one one of these leads the usb one so again that whole orange one sorry um, but yeah, overall, so far, this is an awesome figure. Um, let's go on that head sculpt a bit more. Yeah, that looks great. Obviously, it's got the eyes. The eye, the eyes um, can move. Um, and I'll just show you the uh, other sculpt whilst I'm here. Here's the other hair sculpt, which I think I prefer. Not too sure. But the good thing is you can always swap it out and move it around and everything. But yeah, the boots are great like them again completely an upgrade from the DX07 um, but again the suit it comes with a variety of hands so the table looks good it's the one we've got a million times before anyway blaster and yeah the hair I like this one I'm not sure I'll, I'll have a play around and work it out it's going to go next way in Parvada so but yeah, that's my quick sort of overview of the figure overall. Um, I love it. I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10, maybe a 9. Um, would like to have had a bit more um, weathering, um, like I said, is. but I am happy with this. I can't wait to get it posed up, which I may, well, I'll post later on. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, Drop a like on this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon. Thanks.